module 4 if and switch functions like Microsoft Excel Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 also has capabilities to use conditional formattings using formats such as if function and switch function so to begin with we would be starting to learn if function first so suppose wherever there is zero days this lag you want to display over here that critical activity if slack is equal to zero then display critical activity and if slack is non zero then you display non critical activity so first of all to start off with we would be required to insert a column named text Be text is to be selected because we want the result into text format that is we are saying that activity is critical or activity is non critical so it's basically a text that we want to display so go on to T and select text 2 now as we have seen earlier we need to customize it so go to custom fills now right over here type of activity question mark now go on to formula bar over here select the bubble and go to formula now here you saw so you can see the formula screen now here we need to insert the function so in order to insert if function go to function general and you can see if over here so if we look on to the type of syntax it uses is similar to that of an excel except here note the significant difference in the spelling it uses double if okay now we can select the expression part and here we don't need to type uh, we can also type but the more easier way is to select the directly fill whichever you want so suppose if as per our case we want to test that if total slack equals to zero then critical activity and or else non-critical activity so select expression go to fills now total slack comes under duration as it's displayed in days so go to duration total slack enter the condition total slack equals to zero note to enter whichever value you want to you need to always enter it into double inverted commas so we we'll put double inverted commas besides and after zero now select the true part start double inverted commas write critical activity double inverted comma close similarly in false part non critical activity double inverted comma close press ok ok and ok so now you can see wherever the total slack is zero we have a critical activity and where total slack is non zero we have it as a non critical activity so nested if can also be constructed as well as we can use if conditions with some other conditions that we can use two if conditions using an and function between them or an or function between them or not function between them so it depends upon the complexity and type of results that you want that would decide which type of if is required so this is all about if function now coming on to switch function what basically switch function means is suppose if in the responsibility column I want to change the responsibility of Jack to John Alan to David and Smith remains as it is so one of the simple ways to go in each column or each cell and write down that name respectively or enter that name into the lookup as we did and then to select it again and again but it would be a very cumbersome task if we are required to do it for say 100, 200, or 500, or 1000 activities so what's the simplest way? the simplest way is to switch what, should, what the switch function does is it would directly switch Jack to John wherever it is found in the respective column that is being selected so let's do it so for that let's say we need to put that column as a new responsibility so this is not required so I'm hiding it at this moment now in add column so we select text 3 and we'll customize it to 
a name new respawn cbdt now go to the formula tab and select the bubble and then press formula as we done in switch go to functions general and then we have a switch now the syntax is expression value 1 expression value 2 so let's understand this how it works suppose the very first step is to if we want to select this expression go on to the field so our field original which we want to change or switch is a text type as we have written a name so go to text then move on to custom text and here we have a responsibility if responsibility equals to check not to write it in double inverted commas then it is to be replaced by John similarly which should be also written in double inverted commas so this was the first part now if you want to again add an expression that is again if you want to say in case of responsibility we want to replace Alan Alan by David so we need to write Alan comma double inverted commas and David double inverted commas close while as we saw in the third case that wherever there is Smith we want to keep Smith as it is so now we can add an ex expression text custom text responsibility we can note equal to double inverted commas wherever there is Smith we want is as it is so one way is to write Smith comma double inverted comma Smith but it's not a practical way so we'd write Smith comma and again add a field responsibility over here so basically what it would do wherever there is Smith in responsibility column it would keep the same as it is so we select responsibility over here and press ok ok and ok over here so now you can see Alan has been replaced by David Smith is as it is John is replaced by Jack and Alan is replaced by David again and Smith is as it is if you want to keep any of the column or and suppose after Alan wherever Alan changes I want something blank then you can directly keep it as blank as it is and thereby the blank value would appear respectively so we can see Alan has a blank attribute now so this is all about working with switch function